Hi, I'm Matthew Neto. I'm the coordinator of the Computer Systems Technician Program at Algonquin College's Waterfront Campus. The CST program uh, is a accelerated two-year diploma uh, where we have three semesters and we cover off um, all the things that a computer systems technician would need to know when they graduated. So we have um, operating systems, networking, hardware, software, a little bit of everything. We kind of try and build a jack or drill jill of all trades. By saying that, I mean we give a broad range of skills to the students in multiple categories. So if a student is really interested in hardware and that's where they see themselves going when they graduate, uh, then we give them all the skills they need for that but they're going to pick up networking and software and operating system skills along the way. Um, and it's the same for any, any of those disciplines. The CST students have a dedicated lab uh, on campus that they have access to, you know, outside of class time. So if they need to come in and do their work, uh, the lab includes, um, you know, one computers for them to work and learn on, but it also includes that whole help desk environment, all the tools you would need to work on a computer system. And we have a fully functional server room that emulates anything that you'd see uh, out in the real world so that you can go into this, you know, lock server room. Each student is assigned their own server. They're working in this environment and it, it really does emulate what you do in real life. So the way the program's set up is you can come here with zero computer knowledge. Uh, it's a zero to 60 type uh, training course. So we get people who have experience with computers, um, you know, either in high school or in another job, or we get students who have never really messed with computers, but think now's the time to check it out uh, and they'd like a career in it. The students uh, in level three, so which would be their final semester before they graduate, uh, they get to pick a project that they want to work on. So students, they've had, you know, two semesters of experience, they've gone away on co-op, they come back, and if there's something they wanna learn a little bit more about, they can pick it up there. So we've had students build gaming servers, uh, you know, build computer programs. Uh, there was a student that engaged in a solar uh, panel integration for the college. We have 3D printers that the students can interact with. Um, and um, we have our own kind of little server farm here, so students will, really kind of engage with whatever interests them, but yeah, lots of really interesting stuff happening. The computer systems technician program includes a help desk uh, practical assignment that the students participate in, where they have a course dedicated to learning, you know, the industry standards for how a help desk operates and is delivered. Uh, so, you know, how calls are escalated. The culminating activity for that, um, for that course uh, is an actual help desk that the students run where they service employees and students' com computers uh, for a month at the end of the semester. And we've had awesome success with that. The students do everything from the marketing uh, to building the ticket system. Yeah, our students get a lot out of that. Employers, we've had really, really good feedback since implementing that course from employers saying the students seem really ready to work when they get hired. Co-op opportunities, uh, so locally in the Pembroke, Petawawa, uh, kind of Renfrew County area, we have uh, hospitals, school boards, uh, the base and uh, CNL who take on placement students every year for us. Uh, and so those uh, organizations have partnered with the college to you know, make sure that the experience that they're offering the students it has a lot of value and a lot of learning over the summer for the students. Uh, in Ottawa, the federal government is another partner. So we have a lot of opportunities if a student says, hey, I want to spend the summer in Ottawa. Yeah, you can. There's lots of opportunities there. T traditionally working for Canada Border Services uh, or the Ca Canadian Revenue Agency, Shared Services, NAV Canada, organizations like that. Here, we're trying to give them a more broad range of skills. Uh, so students come out and they're a little more portable. They, they're ready to work in a bunch of different industries. 